Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we will take a look at the sound settings in Windows 10 as we are doing videos where we compare the settings at the same time a little bit but also have the same um, you know tour of the settings app for both operating systems. So in Windows 10 we have of course some settings that are available from the uh, app itself from the uh, icon where you can actually choose not just you know have the volume but you can actually choose by this by clicking on the arrow what device you want to have the sound coming out of so that's one of the first things that you can do the other thing is going into your settings app will give you also the sound settings in system and then of course clicking sound on the left side you have your output device, which is the same list that we just uh, were showing you in the uh, speaker icon. And then you have, of course, device properties that you can go to, which will give you the uh, type of sound. And you can disable the device, have spatial, spatial sound, uh, stereo, and of course, the balance between both. So the settings are fairly different from what we see in Windows 11. You can manage sound devices, will bring you all the output uh, and input devices you have. And on each of them, you have the, the capability of testing it or disable the device if you don't need it. For example, especially in the input devices, sometimes you want to have a specific device work. You can disable the other ones and just keep the one you want if there's some interference with some recording apps, for example. Then you have, of course, the input devices where you can choose which device you're going to actually use for uh, recording, for example, or any other uh, thing that, you know, you need uh, audio coming out of a microphone and so on. Once again, the device properties will give you the possibility of what device, what's the name. You can rename each device, by the way. You can disable it and you can, you know, test with uh, the volume and, and whatever you want to test out. You have a troubleshoot that is happening here and here, input and output. The troubleshoot button will actually start the troubleshooting app in Windows. That will actually look at any problem. So if you have no sound, if you have a problem with the sound, you can actually try to troubleshoot the device and an automatic process will actually try to fix it or tell you what's wrong. It doesn't always work, but you know, if you've got problems, it's worth a shot. Then you have app volume and device preferences that brings you all the apps that are using sound and their volume levels and, of course, what devices you're using. And there's a master volume. Remember that in Windows, and it's a common problem for a lot of people, you have sound somewhere, no sound in another place. It's because each app is considered to have its own sound uh, volume. So you have a master volume, which is the volume you have here when you click your uh, icon, the speaker icon. But you have a app volume, which means each app that is capable of producing sound that will be there um, and will be running in the background will have its own volume level. That's why you see two volumes here, system sounds and my OBS studio sound also. If I had something else here, if I would play, you know, uh, videos from the uh, the um, Edge browser, well, each of these things will add every time you have something that will create a sound or play a sound. So the app volume and device preferences will add whatever is uh, creating a sound in some cases. So it depends what you have. Right now, nothing is playing here, so Edge doesn't show up. But anything that is capable of producing producing a sound at some point will have its own volume control here. So be sure to check it out. And if you're not sure of anything, there's a reset button, which resets everything to the defaults, which means every volume will be probably 100%. So that's all the volume settings that you have in Windows 10. As you notice, it's very different from the Windows 11 video. If you looked at it, it's very different the way that they actually have placed the different options. And also, there seems to be more options available in Windows 11 uh, for any sound devices on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.